Hi, my name is John Polarski and I'm a graduate student in the wildlife department here at Tarleton State. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about telemetry. Now, telemetry is a very important tool that we as wildlife managers and researchers can use. And it's primarily used to track wildlife, um, getting GPS locations for wildlife. You can also get survival data uh, for animals that you have marked with transmitters. You can also follow individuals and get estimates for reproduction, reproductive output, nest success, uh, brood survival, metrics like that that are really important to know about the species that we're monitoring. So I first want to just talk to you guys about basically the main components for telemetry. Now, for all VHF telemetry, very high frequency, um, these are the transmitters that I'm using on my project, which I'll talk about here in a little bit. Uh, the tracking devices that we use really consist of three major components. One being your antenna. This happens to be a three element Yagi antenna that picks up the signal that a transmitter is emitting, a cable, and then a receiver. Now there's different kinds of styles for the receivers. This one happens to be an R1000 handheld receiver. Um, if you look closely, you can see it's got a keypad on it that you can use to type in whatever frequency you want and then a couple other uh, functions. On the top here, it also has a power button, a gain, and then uh, also you can manipulate your frequency as well with the dial. And this is all what you would use to track any of your radio marked individuals. Now before we start, I want to introduce two different ways that we can go and locate radio marked individuals. The first is triangulation. Now triangulation, if you're going to use this technique, it's most commonly used on species that you don't necessarily want to go up to um, and get very close to. Say if you were tracking lions, tigers, bears, oh my, you would want to use triangulation. Now what you would do for triangulation is you would get three different bearings for where you think your individual is. And so say if we thought our individual was somewhere off that way, we would try and get a bearing for where that individual is. And with telemetry using this antenna, we can get a relative direction based on how loud or how strong the signal is. So we would take a bearing that way. Then we would also circle around, say almost 180 degrees around where we think the individual is, take another bearing, and then go and take one final third bearing. And basically what you're gonna end up having is a triangle where you've got those three lines or three bearings that you determined intersecting at some point. Now, where those lines intersect is an approximate location for where your individual is. The other way that you can go and locate individuals is what I use for my project. It's called homing. And this is where we're actually going to the individual. So we're using the signal that we're gonna have, and based on how strong it is, we can go right to the individual, perhaps get a visual on it, and then take a GPS location. All right, so we've got the frequency for one of our radio mark bob whites plugged in, and we're gonna go and get a GPS location or just a location for this particular individual. Now, what I'm gonna do before we even start is I wanna try and get a signal on this bird to get a general direction as to where it is. And so one way that I can do that is by holding my antenna like this. Now see that I've got it vertical here. This is what we do to try and get locations on individuals when we think that they're far away from us. So if we just start for the day trying to track an individual, we'll try and see generally where it is by holding our telemetry set vertical. And so what I'll do here is I'll turn it on. I've got the frequency already plugged in and we can hear a signal. So from this telemetry set, we can get an approximate distance of the individual from us in an approximate location or direction as to where it is. Notice how the signal is strong while I'm pointing it this way to the south. When I go and point it this way, you can't hear the signal anymore. So that's telling me that this bird is not behind me or not anywhere over here. It's likely over here. So now that we know which way it is, I'm gonna turn my telemetry set over so it's horizontal. Now this allows me to get a little bit better picture as to where the directionality is and then also the distance from me. This is kind of my short game that I would use in telemetry. It's holding it horizontal. So I'll turn the receiver back on. We still got a good strong signal and what I'm doing is manipulating the gain. I'll turn the gain down and that's gonna narrow my cone as to where it is so I can really zero in on where the individual is. 
Notice I move my telemetry set just a little bit over this way. It's not here. Go back. Very strong signal. We'll go back over this way. We lose the signal again. So right now, I'm thinking that that individual is likely somewhere in that mot. Now it might be a little bit past, hard to judge that, but for now we're going to start walking in this direction. Notice when we're walking towards it, I want to always be moving my Yagi antenna around, getting a better picture, picture of that direction. Now the whole while that we're getting closer to it, I am turning down my game. Like I said, that's giving us a better picture as to where it is. Now, I think this individual is just straight ahead of us. That's where the strongest signal is. We're getting fairly close. If I make small directional movements with my Augie antenna, the signal typically drops off. So I think it's straight ahead of us at some point. Now, instead of just walking straight up on it and potentially flushing it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around, okay? And by that, Say if we get on the other side of this mot and the signal is pointing back this way, then we know that we've gone past it. And that gives us an even better idea as to where it is. So that's how we'll proceed with tracking this bird. So now we're on the other side of the mot and it's pointing back the way that we just came from. So from there, obviously, we can deduce that this individual is in the mot. From here, you can take a GPS location for an individual or for this particular individual and move on to the next one.